Who is Shane's clothes, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's better. Now I want to change my clothes. And my also, clothes. my sister. I also I changed my clothes. Did very well. <laughs> What's up there guys? Today we're going to do a Finding Dory movie review with, of course, with my special guest. Yes, this is my second sister named Fianca. Hello. And, and yeah, so basically we're going to review, like I said, we're going to review Finding Dory. And yes, we just got back from the theater seeing Finding Dory. It's and, the uh, best movie. I like it. Well, okay. Okay, so here we go. This is our thoughts. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just get started, okay? Here we go. So this story, it took one year after the events of Finding Nemo, uh, with a fish, a little blue, f with a blue fish named Dory, who is actually a, f uh, uh, a fish who's have, of course, short-term memory loss, trying to find her family, and, it, and with a help with the help of two clownfishes, Marlin and Nemo. So that is the main story of this movie. So this movie is just great. Yeah, it's, it's such a great movie, I and. Like it. Uh, very it's good. also uh, very good as well. So okay, before we get down to the like, before you get down to the uh, of course the things I like and also the things we don't like, I just want to show you first here. Here it is. So we have this card here. You see there, read the premiere. I like and it. It's, it's, it's so yeah. relaxing. Yeah. That's so yeah, as you can see right now. Yep. Look at this. Here's our tickets for the it's movie. It's so relaxing. It's so relaxing. It's a premiere. So. If you guys were to if you guys get into the theater and saw a uh, name premiere, go watch the film in the premiere. It's so comfortable. Okay, I'm just gonna say that it's just so I comfortable. I wear a blanket. Yeah, and, and yeah. So cuddly. Don't don't say that, Jeffrey. Okay, okay, let's get to the review now. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the things that we are like we liked about. And so first of all, the characters. Yeah. I love the characters in the movie. The, the main one, of course, being Ellen DeGeneres as Dory. I know. Uh, yeah, she's she's voice and then yeah, she's not annoying at all. After all, a lot of people. Well, she's a character that's probably gonna get very annoyed easily. But no, it turns. But because of Ellen um, DeGeneres, yes, she's not annoying at all. Albert Brooks has always still good as Marlon. Albert Brooks still good as Marlon. And and of course, uh, also let's see to get into the other characters. All these characters are just so likable. The first one is, of course, is going to be um, Ed O'Neill as Hank, of course, a red, a Pacific East red octopus. Yeah. <laughs> I I love him in this movie. He is so good, and also hit her her chemistry. Sorry, his chemistry with Dory is amazing. And then the way they talk is just blah 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 blah. The uh, one want to be angry or being tempered a bit, and then the one just being being like being a nice fish or something like that. It's a great. Wait, wait, sorry. Uh, be angry about that is just so awesome, uh, and then and of course we have um, Destiny played by Kate Caitlin Ol Olson. I sorry if I mispronounced your name. I think it's Caitlin Olson. It's she's great as well. Uh, yeah, she's uh, I got I got another. I, well, you know what, guys? My nigga is actually in the spoiler section. So yeah, this is such a great movie. Like I, I said, like, like we said, I. Uh, it's already it's a great movie, and also T. Burl as Bailey, he's also fantastic as well. It just every everyone in this movie is fantastic. Hayden Rollins is fantastic. Uh, Diane Keaton is fantastic. Eugene Eugene Levy is fantastic. Idris Elba is fantastic. Everyone is every of the voice casting is fantastic in this in this uh, movie. Uh, yeah, just uh, and then the second one is the oh sorry sorry about that. Okay, sorry that my sister's interrupting me a bit. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so like I said, everyone's fantastic in this movie. It's just, yeah, it's just everyone's awesome in this movie. And also, the story, I thought, the story, the script, the writing, I thought is just great. The way that story uh, find her parents, I thought. Yeah, yeah, this is a bit of a minor spoiler. So she did actually find her parents. But you, but it's such an interest, but. The the what the reason why it is worked is because how the fact is so interesting. The way she find it is just very interesting. So, go, so so there you go. She did find her parents. A uh, minor spoiler. More. It's not exactly a big spoiler because you know she's looking for a family and you know I already knew that she's gonna find her family. Uh. 
So yeah, so overall, and the writing is good as well. The movie is also fast paced, which is something that I haven't really expected. And yes, this movie is, I believe, like, uh, wait for a second. Yeah, this movie is actually 103 minutes. Uh, yes, so with minus credit, I th credits, it's, I think it's like 101 minutes. So overall, the movie is the fast, the movie is well, well paced, actually, which is, once again, another thing I liked. The visual effects is always just stunning as hell. I love the visuals in this movie. The visual is just, is just as good as, of course, Finding Nemo. Now, for me, is this as good as the Finding Nemo? No, actually, I prefer Finding Nemo slightly a bit. And um, yeah, I'll also there's uh, because yeah, I still do still prefer Finding Nemo, but yeah, but still, it's still a great movie, like I said. So there you go. That's my positive. So. Okay, now it's my sister's turn now to get the positives, and, okay, wait for a second. Okay, so now actually I left alone because unfortunately my uh, sister has something uh, that he, she's busy, unfortunately she's got, uh, I believe, being called out, so she's actually uh, leaving, as you see now, she's leaving now, so, okay, so now here goes myself, so, okay, so my first problem is that, my main problem, you know what, I'll get into the spoilers later uh, after this, and yeah, so basically, my... The main problem is that the movie isn't as emotional as the um, as the first film, as Finding Nemo was. I found it, I didn't like tear up that much, unfortunately. Which is a shame, because unfortunately, it, no, I'll get into the spoiler section. I did tear up just a bit in this movie, uh, which I'll get into the spoiler section. So, yeah. Overall, Finding Dory is such a great movie, and it's, and overall, it's just a fantastic movie. Not as the first one, in my opinion, but... Yeah, but still a fantastic movie, so I'm gonna give Finding Dory an A. Okay, now let's get into the spoiler sections. If you haven't seen the movie, click off the video now. Put it on the watch later playlist, uh, watch play later list, and go watch the movie, then go back to this video. There you go. Spoilers, you have been warned. Let's get into the spoilers now. Um, I I don't want to make explain too much about the spoilers. I'll just explain it that what I will do. So yeah, okay. So here, let's get into spoilers. So first of all, like I said, I thought Ed O'Neill as Hank and also Ellen DeGeneres as uh, of course Dory. I thought the character of their characters chemistry is amazing. Like you know when they're at the park with Dory trying to find find her parents and then with Hank helping her. I thought the way they interact was just great. It's such a the way they interact is just something that I would I ha, did not expect it. I never expected that one. And yeah, so we have Nemo and Marlon. Actually, we we actually don't just focus on Dory. We also focus on Nemo and Marlon trying to find her. Like there are stories that there when they're trying to find her is connected to the main story basically. And uh, yeah, so basically when they're finding uh, try to find her in uh, in in. I can't really forget what the place is. I at least like um, Quantum Tower. Wait, wait for a second. Uh, at the uh, the Jewel of Bo Morrow Bay, California. That is actually the place where, of course, Dory trying to find her parents actually, and also, uh, yeah. By the way, I was just my phone actually. I checked my phone just to make sure what is the location is actually. <laughs> just don't forget. About, just forget about that one. Like I said, Dory tried to find her, their, his, her parents by, go, by of course, going to the Jewel of Morro Bay, California, with, of course, Marlin and Nemo uh, accompany him. Because, of course, Dory, if you guys have check, now, if you guys have seen the movie, Dory can't really, when he tried to find something, he, sh he can't, she can't really, um, find it alone. Uh, yeah, that's another, that's another thing that I really liked. And also, also, I believe we have, uh, uh, a character, like I said, the character named ba Bailey, which I'll check in a second here. Uh, yeah, T. Burl as Bailey. I thought he was like, don't worry, he's good. I thought he's likable, but unfortunately, some of the things that he says, like, it's a bit annoying in my in my opinion. That's just my opinion, basically. It's like a Ooh, yeah, ooh. He's like, basically, yes, I know Bailey is a beluga whale who can, who of course you can echo it, echo location everywhere because unfortunately when the first time we see him he has lost his echolocation so 
So yes, that's actually quite awesome the way he lost it. Although it never really, although it never really been explained basically. But still, but still, I thought, but I don't care about that. He's still likable. And then when he says like, woo, woo, like that, I thought it was a bit annoying. No, don't get me wrong. The first time I heard it is, uh, I, I thought it was funny. It's funny, but unfortunately, as he started to like do it again, like woo, ah, yeah, like that, and then it's uh. Yeah, it's get a bit annoying actually, so... Yeah, yeah, but still, but still, he, he, Burl, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. If, if I was wrong, let me know in the com you can correct me in, my, in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, so overall, like I said, so Dory is already gave this move, so yeah, that is my thoughts on finding Dory. And also, before I end the video, I just want to say that, uh, I'll go back to the positives, I believe. Um, yeah, Diane King Eugene, and Eugene uh, Levy, of course, the two actor, two actors that play Jenny and Trolley, who, if you guys don't know, is Dory's uh, parents, didn't do much, but they're still fantastic, basically. So there you go. So yeah. So there you go. That's my thoughts, my movie review on Finding Dory. What do you think of the movie? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if, and if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.